What is going on everyone? Welcome to your 76th Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be finishing up that program that lets us do mouse events in well that's pretty much it. So in case you can't tell right here we implemented from two different interfaces which are pretty much just a class in essence. Um, the mouse listener and we did the five methods necessary for that but we implemented from this other one too mouse motion listener and these are pretty much like you can see the motions of the mouse so when you move the mouse like this or click and hold down and drag that's what registers these events so these are pretty useful for like drawing programs and stuff like that so let's go ahead and um, implement the methods right now so public I'm gonna make a little comment um, these are mouse motion events so not just the typical mouse um, what do they call mouse listener or whatever so the first method we need to make is called mouse drag so public void mouse dragged I always heard it was drug like dig dug drag drag anyways just talking to myself here so let's go ahead and put mouse event event nothing new here and for the body what do we want to do when they drag the mouse well let's go ahead and there's nothing really we can do except change the status bar dot set text and we'll set it equal to something like put that back come on Haas you are dragging the mouse how original is that I know it's the most creative thing I can come up with but hey I'm not that creative that's what my therapist told me so I'm just gonna go with that so after that what we need to do is have mouse moved and what mouse move does is called when you move the mouse without clicking any buttons just like I'm moving the mouse right here and I'm not clicking any buttons so mouse drag is when you hold down a button but public void mouse moved is not holding down any buttons so let's go ahead and type mouse event event and in our body, what do we want to put? Status bar dot set text. And let's go ahead and just put something like you move the mouse. So now we got M O U S E O. Of course, that's how you spell mouse. So now we got all of our methods that we needed to implement since we implemented from mouse listener and mouse motion listener. So now we can go ahead and run this program and evidently it doesn't see one of these things is spelled wrong h-a-n-d-l-e-r-c-l-a-s-s h-a-n-d oh there we go make sure your uh, capitalization does matter it's case sensitive in java as you just saw so now let's go ahead and run this program right here and i'll show you guys what happens if we don't got any errors it'll pop up trust me so here is our window by default it has a title bar at the top and here's a status bar down here and here's our mouse panel and so the first thing we see is well let me go through each of these methods look at the status bar down here I'm gonna press down or hold down the mouse button and it says you press down the mouse button now when I release it it says I clicked at that coordinate because when you press down and you release it real quick it's a click so we're saying alright if I press down and release it that's a click how do I get this to the, the release method? Well, if you click it and drag it and let it go, that's the one that says you release the button. So if you click down and release in the same spot, it's a click. If you click down and drag it and release it, it says you release the button. So now what do we have? We have mouse pressed, mouse clicked, mouse released. Um, we also have mouse entered as you can see as I'm entering it it's changing red as I'm exiting it the mouse has left the window it's uh, changing white and lastly I have you move the mouse and if I hold down my button look I'm clicking down the button and dragging it says you are dragging the mouse so now let me talk through each of these methods you guys should know what all this means how to create the window by now if you've been watching my tutorials and let me talk through each one of these Remember, well, I might as well just run that again so I can bring it up. Bring it right there. So remember when it said mouse clicked, 
it set the text equal to the two coordinates uh, percent D percent D which was event get X and get Y and I know you guys can't see get Y but trust me so look at this clicked at 10 10 65 clicked at 30 46 so that is pretty much what it means and for your information the X is left to right and the Y is top to bottom it starts at 0 0 right here and it increases the most right here look 279 141 so that is what click does the mouse pressed is pretty much taking it right here and when you press it down that's why we were able to get this text you press down the mouse mouse released let me make sure I can't move my mouse or you release the button so that's why we are able when we let go of our mouse button and of course when we enter the area it not only says you enter the area for a short bit of time but also changes the color to red look at this not in not in oh I entered I'm not I didn't come in yet oh I just entered again it's red so now what else did we do exited is white it's the same thing and the last one is dragged which is holding your mouse button down that way we were able to set the status bar to you are dragging the mouse and moving it without holding it down you move the mouse look at that so now what do we know how to learn Java in this little program that took quite a little ways to build we learn how to respond to the user's mouse events so now we know how to respond to your keyboard events using scanner and the other stuff we learned in that tutorial and also their mouse events right now so we can pretty much start building some pretty cool programs using you know graphics and stuff like that but for the next uh, tutorial I'm probably going to be teaching you about layouts how to make super cool windows with buttons right where you want them and you know more stuff like that but for now thank you guys for watching my mouse event handling tutorial I hope you learned a little something of course not too much because I mean come on why would you want to learn a lot I mean learning not that fun so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel so glad you're subscribers so glad thank you for your views don't forget to subscribe again and I'll see you next tutorial